water drop my man. What's up, dude? How are we? <laughs> Eyes on the road, obviously, Eyes but uh, <laughs> yeah, welcome to the channel. I mean, obviously, you've been on already, but you're in the US for a while at Villanova University, yes, and you've come back here. How has it been settling back? Are you enjoying it? Tell us the details, <laughs> yeah, it's been good. I think I there's pros and cons of it all. I mean, just like going to college, there's pros and cons, you know, you get to train with all these awesome guys and make heaps of friends but you're away from home and so kind of the reverse of that for me now I'm back home which I love but I don't have like an insane group to train with here in Sydney but it's been fun to be a bit more creative with my training and kind of do the things that I want to do um, and so yeah it's been super fun like love racing back here again in Sydney like obviously the big iconic events like City to Surf and now City Marathon like I love all that um, but yeah we're in the middle of track season now and it's been super good so yeah, the transition's been pretty good. I think the biggest thing is just uh, making sure I'm balancing work and, and training and still, you know, doing other things in life, keeping it fun and light. Um, but yeah, no complaints so far. So how often are we hitting up the ES Box track? It's every Thursday at the moment. Yeah. Um, I feel like Tuesday is a double threshold day and then Saturday is a big threshold on the treadmill. So yeah, Thursdays at the moment. It was Tuesdays the last year. Now it's Thursdays, it's become that day. Yeah. And do you do like faster than VO2 as well or not much? To be honest, not really. I think for me, doing like VO2, running like 5K pace, 3K pace is like enough. I don't visit like the real, like that raw speed really ever. I let that, I save it for racing. But there's a time and a place. Like every now and then, like in the early season, I would throw in some 200s at the end of the session at kind of like, I think they were doing like 28, 27s. So I guess that's like faster than 1500 pace. But the bulk of the session would be at like a 5k pace on average, I would say. Right. Yeah. Just some activation. I had an injury when I was like 16 and the team at like 4D, well back then it was a different physio, but 4D now was like, you have really weak glutes. It was all like shin related, Achilles related. And they gave me a, not this exact band, but one like this. And they were like, you need to like strengthen your glutes. Yeah. So. And that's because it's all interconnected, right? Yeah, because like so, if, if something is not, if your big mo like muscle groups aren't absorbing the shock, then it's going to go somewhere else. Like same if your shoes aren't absorbing the shock, like it's just moving further up the chain. I feel like this has become like before every run, almost like 90% of my runs, I would say I do this exact basically ru same routine. Just like these ones, yeah. and like the side to side, and then maybe just like a bit of the hips like this. And then like that just before pretty much every run. I don't have to do a lot, just like a couple What about of before stuff. a race? Yeah, even before yeah. a race, just to get the glutes firing. I might do like, literally like three of each yeah. little thing. Yeah. But it's good to just have everything like super switched on, you know? Yeah, and what here have we got on there? <laughs> this is the Triumph 21 from Sockney. I feel like this is my like daily trainer. Although I just ran in the Ride 17 and I was very impressed. And maybe, just maybe, it will replace the Triumph. I mean, I want to have both, but, but yeah. the ride is you really- still rotate both. Yeah. yeah, I think like yeah. I'll, I'll use those as my main two shoes for like daily training. Yeah. And then obviously beyond that, like endorphin speed, endorphin pro, and then like when I race, use the Elite. But so yeah. band work is done? Band then, work is done, yeah. Now what? Uh, 15 minute jog. Uh, doesn't need to be super fast like for me it'll probably be like five minute k's just really easy like just warming up the body basically before the hard workout so just want the blood flow and muscles feeling loose uh, i'll do a couple of drills and stuff as well so Sweet. yeah all right, all right. With your jog. let's do it <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, that's it. We're done. Let's go. Let's go home. Let's go home. Good that's workout. it. Just a warm up. <laughs> and everything I do. I just don't, I don't do heaps of it. Yeah. I feel like the main thing, once I've warmed up, done like the basics, would be just like a good amount of strides. Like just kind of prepping your body, getting the heart rate up before the session starts. So recently, yeah. you have signed a contract. Who yes. with? I mean, it's pretty obvious with who, but. I feel <laughs> like if you if you follow me on Instagram, it's like being a <laughs> hundred soft launches, but yeah, Sockney. Um, yeah, it's been a couple months in the works, but yeah, very happy to sign with them. Um, the product is awesome, like, you know, so I can't get better than that really. Free gear and doing what I like, so yeah. What a shoe rotation as well. Like, you got such good shoes in every single category, I reckon. Yeah, I think like the Triumph has always been like a favorite for everyone. Um, Endorphin Speed as well, but they're super shoes. Like Endorphin Pro, Endorphin Elite have just gotten so good now. Like they're competing with all the other brands. Um, and even the spikes, like they're not maybe the most seen spikes on the track, but they feel awesome and like certainly helped me run PBs now. So I know they work, so it's good, yeah. I had a, a large one for the World Cross Trials and it was like super baggy on me. Um, so I finally got a medium one today so yeah I like as much as i love the color i feel like the material of this is like insane obviously you can't really like see it through the camera but it's like mad stretchy mad breathable like kind of feels like it's gonna tear but it's like super strong as well <laughs> got the fkt socks from pace on <laughs> shout out, shout pace. out. <laughs> <laughs> no they actually are really good socks if they made white ones in the long cut Ooh. I would buy a yeah. lot of pairs of those. Uh, so you've got quite a lot of creative freedom for your training at the moment. What yes. workout do you have in mind today? So tonight we're going to do 400 reps. We're going to break it up into like sets of four. So I might do three to four sets of 400, 200 meter jog in between. And then between each set, I'll take about three minutes just to regather. Um, yeah. Any pickups for the 400s? Yeah, so I think the pace wise is going to be like kind of 5k pace so 66 65 a lap and then on the second or third rep of each uh set gonna chuck one in at like maybe 62 63 so closer to that 3k pace uh, just to kind of spike the body practice like that change of pace that often happens in races even when you don't want it to happen maybe you know you're going to speed up at the end but you don't know if that's going to happen in the middle of the race sometimes <laughs> So which done. rep do we end up doing the quick one? I did on the third for the yeah. first set because I wanted to give my body a chance to get going. But it was good. I went 66, 65, 63, 65. So yeah, take a little jog now, maybe three minutes and then we'll start back here again for the second set.
20. Spike time. Yep. Not because I'm speeding up, I just want to get, get a bit of like stimulus in the spikes. Point one, spikes will help to make the pace feel easier. But also I want to get used to wearing the spikes because like there's a big difference between super shoes and spikes and if you're always in super shoes you're gonna like eventually get used to them and you're not gonna strengthen the legs the way you need for a track race but also who doesn't love spiking up I mean <laughs> that's that's half the reason too this is the terminal VT it's like Saucony is like I would say 5k 10k kind of spike I use it for the 1500 and 3k yeah you wore it for your 3k state title I did yeah yeah, yeah it's good it has like the the like power run HG foam, so that's their like top of the line foam, the one that's in the Endorphin Elite. So it's like a bit firmer than some other spikes I've been in, but like I kind of like that. It makes it a bit more responsive. It's not as stiff like a carbon plate, but this whole kind of green area here is like pretty stiff. So I really like them. So third set done, I'm about to start the four. Yes. Yeah. Guys, I appreciate that all these, you know, pro runners are letting me film their workouts and stuff. Um, and the only way I can do more of this is obviously to grow the channel, get some credibility. It's nice that Ed and Josh are very nice guys. I already knew them a little bit beforehand, so they're pretty chill with me coming to film the workout. But, you know, I want to carry on doing this. I want to make this a big thing. I want to film, like, more athletes around Australia. So, yeah, let's leave a like on the video. Comment below if you enjoyed it and definitely share it around because I think Australia needs more of this kind of thing and yeah, we can only do that if we all work as a team. Good. Man, definitely started to creep up on the last few reps there. Went like 64, 65, and then 61. And then last one like 66, just chilled. Starting to feel it a little bit. Um, but yeah, can't complain with that. That was a good workout, it was very fun. Yeah. Yeah. So you briefly touched on it um, during the video earlier, but yeah, next race Sydney Track Classic. Yeah, Sydney Pretty Track Classic. Pretty happy to get in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Won't go into detail about that, but I'm in the race. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. Like I know a couple guys obviously going to be out because of World Cross and uh, stuff like that, but some of the 1500 boys are going to be stepping up to the three. So I'm really excited to like race against some of those guys. I feel like they've been running really fast all year so I have no doubt that it's going to be a fast race and I'm ready for that so for sure yeah and you just trained at the track that you're going to be racing on yeah train yeah. here I raced here the last three car round was here let's see if I can win another one here that would be the dream is <laughs> winning the race but yeah I'll be happy just with a, a good result you know Protein shake after the run? Yeah, well... Post, do you have that every time? Post-workout recovery. I have this after like really big sessions. Hard track workouts, maybe after a long run. Um, it's a mix of like carbs and protein and then like a couple probably amino acids and a bunch of other stuff. It's yeah. like true protein post-workout. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's chalk mint. Mint's like one of my favorite things. Like I chew gum a lot. Just love mint anything so it's like the perfect thing because like after a hard workout sometimes you don't feel like food for a while yeah um so yeah it's really good